<laughs> all right, time to leave all this madness right now. I head to Yogi Park. Oh my God, this is insane. Oh, okay. I thought you could cross that way too since we're heading that way. Did we lose them? We lost them. Oh, you know what? I love crowds as much as the other guy, but man, it's like way too hectic over here right now. It's feeling a little bit claustrophobic. Uh, <laughs> a little bit on edge. It could be like the two cups of coffee that I had in the cat cafe too, but nah, I don't think so. I don't think that could be it. It's just, it's just a ton of people. Alright, so we're walking in to the Meiji Shrine, I think. I have no idea what this walkway is. up here but uh, it's closing time already so we can't get into uh, the rest of the area we're gonna have to leave but I'm definitely coming back with my gimbal a few moments later left the Nike store here uh, in Shibuya in Tokyo. I was trying to find another pair of shoes like the one like the one I'm wearing because I accidentally bought the wrong size and I brought it over here but well the ones I bought in America were like $80. The ones in there were uh, 17,200 yen which translates to about $172 US. Kind of crazy. That's, a, that's insane. That's an insane markup. I don't even understand. Let's stand here. It looks kind of cool. Me and all these like Chinese tourists behind me. It was awesome, but what? Can't, can't do this every day. Tokyo, so cool, man. Woo! When nighttime falls, it gets cold quick. Literally 10 minutes ago, the sun was over the horizon. Now it's dipped behind these tall buildings. It's dropped like 15 degrees. It's ridiculous. The wind's starting to pick up. But we will soldier on. Diana's got this door here that she likes to shop at or something. Um, I'm actually standing outside of it right now. It's called uh, Vivian Westwood, Westbrook, some, I don't know. But it's in this big ass department store right here too. You can see that. It's all department stores here. It's insane. So much shopping. I'm not really in the mood to shop anymore, but I also probably should have brought more than five t-shirts for a two-week trip. But you live and you learn, right? Tokyo fashion, so cool. Like I said, I, I didn't really care to like dress up or be fashionable this time. It's pretty comfortable. Walking shoes. Whatever. So I'm standing here in front of this huge department store. So you can see behind me, uh, multiple stories, so many people coming in here right now. Right across the street from me, another department store right there. It's a pretty famous one. They have, uh, I don't know, I'll show you guys in a second, but as you can see, it's a pretty big building. Woo! <laughs> 
Ooh, it's cold. So cold out here. Oh yeah, I'm gonna walk you to this place, Tokyo Plaza. Well, it's kind of cool when you come up into here, because you know, there's like these mirrors thing. Everybody likes to go up into. Give me a room. Pretty cool, right? Yeah, I'd say that's pretty cool. What's that? Is that guy having a photo shoot? What's going on down there? Come on. Wait, you have the same shirt? <laughs> the same shirt? No, look at their face. No, no. So we're at Omotesando, which is like the Rodeo Drive of Tokyo. It's down here, it's near Shibuya, it's near Shinjuku, and nearly every luxury brand in the world has their flagship store down here. Uh, this is the main avenue that we're walking down. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, I forgot. This is the uphill walking part. I'm so tired. Don't want to walk uphill. I'll never understand Japanese women who wear heels around the city. That's insane. And they don't just wear like normal heels. These are like super high, like six inch heels. Crazy, crazy, crazy. See the price tag on those pets in that store? 700,000 yen. That's like 7,000 US almost. Yeah. into a random uh, yakitori restaurant so hopefully it's good <laughs> Diana and I learned our lesson when we went to Venice and we came into this Italian place that wasn't owned by Italians we walked in here and uh, noticed that uh, this place is not owned by Japanese and there's no Japanese in here so that's uh, maybe red flag number one but I mean it's grilled chicken on a skewer um, you couldn't mess it up that bad right Right? I don't know. Hey. Alright, food just came out. Um, looks alright. It looks okay. Alright, looks okay. Oh, look, yeah, I was looking alright with pumpkin. Yes, yes. Mm. Alright, so we ordered some gyoza. This is uh, chicken tails, chicken butt, whatever you want to call it. Shishito peppers, mystery meat, chicken, 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 chicken meatball. All right, those are French fries. Yeah. All right, so welcome back for another episode of watching me eat stuff. Cheers. First up, the grilled chicken butts. Mm. Wow. Cooked just right. Chicken butts, really good. Highly recommend it. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I can eat that all day. Super bomb. To me, this looks like. It looks like a beef. But I'll tell you right now. I couldn't tell if that was beef or not. Beef? I'm getting more confused now. It doesn't quite taste like chicken. It doesn't quite taste like beef. It has a consistency of beef. It's not liver. It's pork. It's pork. I think it's 
for this one. This one's definitely hard. Chicken heart. So we just whatever Look, we, nope. Usually it's really hard to cook chicken heart. It's not. You overcook it, it becomes very, very <laughs> chewy set, so and rubbery. Oh, 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 Shishito peppers. Mm. Good flavor. It barely has any heat in it. So, just has that. It's kind of like eating a bell pepper almost. Piece of gyoza. <laughs> Enjoyable as well. So far, enjoying my meal. It's pretty good. Next up, because uh, looks like chicken with uh, green onions or spring onions. Very good still. So even though we had our reservations walking in here, it's not Japanese owned. Um, I guess it's kind of hard to screw up grilled chicken. Not that it's never been done before. If you think it's impossible to mess up, I can't cook. In case that wasn't obvious. Next up. Um, I'm gonna say chicken meatball. <laughs> I'm not sure. Mm, never mind. It's not. It's not a meatball. It's actually a piece of the chicken breast. This is probably this is the part that they make chicken fingers out of. This one's super dry. I don't like it. Chicken meatball on a stick. Mm. Slightly packed together. A little bit of um, chopped up green onions in there, spices, Very simple, clean. Is that what kids are for? No, this is Alright, that concludes our episode of Watching Vinny Eat. Thanks. Next up, we're visiting the Tokyo Whiskey Library. Uh, it's a whiskey bar in Tokyo. Don't know how good it's going to be. Should be interesting. Are they open? Here they are. So cute, whiskey library. Oh, so this is cool. I get why they call it the Tokyo Whiskey Library now. In here, um, it looks like a library, and instead of books, it's a whiskey. My kind of library. Okay, let me try. Uh, it's a drink menu, and on the first page, this is uh, our recommendation of uh, 12 kinds of whiskeys. This is a whiskey book. So this is the uh, menu. It's, uh, there's uh, something bites the main uh, desert. If you like. Okay. Thank you. Wow. All right. So that was cool. Uh, they literally have a super thick. You said there's over a thousand bottles of whiskey in here. Look how thick this book is. It's crazy. All right. So we're gonna look through this. All right, so let's check out uh, this book and see what cool whiskeys there are here. No, I know. I'm saying like it. No, I got some expensive bottles here. Wow, we're not kidding. The table of contents goes by type of liquor. All right, BRB. I got some decisions to make. So, so the other day uh, we were at what was that place? Piss Alley, right? Yeah, I was at Piss Alley or Golden Guy. I walked into this random little bar and I ordered a shot of Yamazaki 12-year-old. Those dudes charged me 
$40 each shot. We're at this way swankier, way swankier place. Great selection. And oh, look. how much is it here? Amazon 12. Yeah. 1800 yen. Those shiesty bastards. I can't believe it. Just got my whiskey delivered to me. They give you a nice little cup. You want that one? You said you were going to take it. They also present you with a bottle. How cool is that? That's freaking awesome. I took it for you. Cheers, guys. This is how this is. Wow. That's that's a good scotch. Never tried that one before, but delicious. Man, I will tell you, the attention to detail at Japanese places is ridiculous. This is just the water glass, but look at how clear this is. No water spots, no finger marks, no lip marks. Completely clean. Oh, that's super cool. What drink did you get? So it has fresh strawberries and mascarpone cheese and some other ingredients that I don't know, but she has a menu. That's so cool. That's first time I've seen that. Wow, this place just keeps getting better and better. I swear, if I lived in Tokyo, I'd probably be here every day, if not every weekend. Let me try this. Thing. Oh my god, this tastes like a dessert. It's like strawberry and mascarpone cheese on top. It's a dessert, Amazing. Guys. Do you have Holy. A drink yet? All right, so my second drink just came out right now. Um, I ordered, it's called. What? What's it called? It's called Camel Wants a Coffee. I have no idea why they call it that. Camel I think there's wants a uh, coffee yeah, in it. Thirsty Camel. Oh. I thought it was that. Uh, no, I'm gonna try it. Who are you guys? Is this whipped cream on top right here? Oh, I was thinking he was calling this. Oh, I forgot about Oh my god, that's freaking delicious. Oh, this is everything I love. This is like whiskey and coffee. A little bit of whipped cream, chocolate. This is ridiculous. I'm just gonna be here all night, folks. I'm not leaving anymore. Can I try it? It's over. I'm moving in. <laughs> Banana. Oh, I'm like, that is so damn good. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I love the ginger in here. Wow. Oh, man. Get my chocolatey ass drink back. Oh. I will admit it's kind of a girly drink, but it's delicious. Wow, so we just left the Tokyo Whiskey Library. And that was an experience. That was amazing. A couple days ago, I had that amazing ramen experience. Totally blew my mind. This place blew my mind as far as bars go. I mean, I'm a whiskey lover, but the service in there, impeccable. Attention to detail, impeccable. Decor, ambiance, like everything was awesome in there. The drinks, decently priced. Like I walked in that place, I'm like, okay, yeah, I'm gonna drop like $100, $200 on some drinks right now. Um, it only ended up being like 40 bucks for me. I had like two drinks. Um, they don't charge you cover to get in, but they do charge you a 10% service charge. So that's a little bit different for Tokyo. Usually, you know, the prices are inclusive. They even add the tax in the price already. But even so, not bad. I think uh, my first shot was uh, 2,400 yen or about $24 US. And uh, then I got a mixed drink that was 1,600 yen, or about $16 US. So all in all, Swanky Bar, you'd expect, you know, drinks in there to be like double the price. I was expecting like $30, $40 a drink. So I'll probably be back there uh, again, maybe once or twice in this trip. It's completely amazing. And this person's running behind me right now. What's going on? <laughs> um, Wow, oh, man, all I gotta say is wow. It's just, just wow. Better than getting charged 40 bucks for those shots, man. I'm still salty about those shots that we paid $40 for for the uh, 12 year old Yamazaki. I just had to look it up here because they did have it here as well. 12 year old Yamazaki, you wanna know how much? 
they charged over here at this swanky place 1,300 yen or 13 bucks man those guys over there at Golden Guy could shove it anyways walking back to the train station right now so see you guys later <laughs>